culture, with rape mentality, and rape pages on Facebook. I am over the thousands of people who signed those pages with their real names without shame. I am over people demanding their right to rape pages, and calling it freedom of speech, or justifying it as a joke. I am over people not understanding that rape is not a joke, and I am over being told I just don't have a sense of humor, and women don't have a sense of humor. When most women I know, and I know a lot, are really fucking funny. We just don't think that uninvited penises of our anus or our vagina is a laugh riot. I am over how long it seems to take anyone to ever respond to rape. I am over Facebook taking weeks to take down rape pages. I am over hundreds of thousands of women in Congo still waiting for the rapes to end and the rapists to be held accountable. I am over thousands of women in Bosnia, Burma, Pakistan, South Africa, Guatemala, Sierra Leone, Haiti, Afghanistan, Libya, you name a place, still waiting for justice. I am over rape happening in broad daylight. I am over the fact that there were rape clinics in Ecuador that captured, raped, and tortured lesbians to make them straight. I am over one in three women in the U.S. military, Happy Veterans Day, getting raped by their so-called comrades. I am over the forces that deny women who have been raped the right to have an abortion. I am over the fraternity boys at the University of Vermont voting on who they would most like to rape. Which reminds me, I am so over the students at Penn State who protested the justice system instead of the rapist pedophile of at least eight boys or his boss, Joe Paterno, who did nothing to protect those children after knowing what was happening to them. I am over rape victims becoming re-raped when they go public. I am over starving Somali women being raped at the Dada in Kenya. And I am over women getting raped at Occupy Wall Street and being quiet about it because they were protecting a movement which is fighting to end the pillaging and raping of the economy and the earth as if the rape of their bodies was something separate. I am over women still being silent about rape because they are made to believe it's their fault or they did something to make it happen. I am over violence against women not being number one international priority when one out of three women will be raped or beaten in her lifetime. The destruction and muting and undermining of women is the destruction of life itself. No women, no future. Duh. I am over rape culture, where the privileged with political and physical and economic might take what and who they want, when they want it, as much as they want, any time they want it. I am over the endless resurrection of the careers of rapists and sexual exploiters, film directors, world leaders, corporate executives, movie stars, athletes, where the lives of the women they violated are permanently destroyed, often forcing them to live in social and emotional exile. I am over the passivity of good men. Where the hell are you? You live with us, make love to us, father us, befriend us, brother us, get nurtured and mothered and eternally supported by us. So why aren't you standing with us? Why aren't you driven to the point of madness and action by the rape and humiliation of us? I am over years and years of being over rape and thinking about rape every day of my life since I was five years old and getting sick from rape and depressed from rape and enraged by rape and reading my insanely crowded inbox of rape horror stories every hour of every single day. I am being over polite about rape. It's been too long now. We have been too understanding. We need to occupy rape in every school, park, radio, TV station, household, office, factory, refugee camp, military base, bathroom, nightclub, alleyway, courtroom, UN office. We need people to truly try and imagine once and for all what it feels like to have your body invaded, your mind splintered your soul shattered. 
we need you to let our rage and our compassion connect us together so we can change the paradigm of global rape. There are approximately one billion women on the planet who have been violated. One billion women. The time is now. Prepare for the escalation. Today, it begins. Moving toward February 14, 2013, when one billion women will rise to end rape. Madeleine, Ampi, Jenny, Angela, Seth, and Pete. Let's give them another big hand. Thank you.